Hi, my name is Arno. I'm a lecturer in the School of Design at the Edinburgh College of Art. Uh, I'm a designer and a design researcher. I have a variety of interests and I teach product design and design informatics within the design school. Today, I'm going to give you a five minute most basic presentation on how to do design. Making things better can be interpreted in a variety of different ways, and perhaps that's what makes design such an exciting discipline and activity. Design can be fashion and product styling, it can be engineering and architecture, it can be policy and regulation. It forms uh, a lot about how we structure our academic research projects as well as developing government policy. It can be about images, objects and services. Almost everyone designs, but if everyone designs, what does that mean? Design is not just about simply problem solving or aesthetic styling. Design challenges that designers face today are often ill-defined, fuzzy, and really dependent upon the context in which the situation is being examined. Serious concerns such as sustainability require a deep understanding of the challenges presented from a variety of perspectives. Almost all design activities share one thing in common. They work towards a future situation where what we've done as designers, our plan of action, has made things better. Consider for a moment five W's. Who are we designing for? This might be your target group, this might be your market, this might be your audience. What are we designing? Are we designing for these people? Are we designing for these values of these people? Are we designing for systems to enable these people to find meaning and purpose in their lives? Or are we not concerned about people, but rather technical systems? Where are we designing? Are we designing for the home? Are we designing for the city? Are we designing as an infrastructure? Are we designing bridges? Are we designing cars? We can be designing in any place, whether that's public or private. When are we designing? This might be a short-term challenge. This might be a long-term plan. Uh, design has a very strong temporal component, but we must think about when we intend our plans of actions to take place. And finally, why are we designing? Is this plan actually going to make things better? As we consider the five W's, we start to understand the interconnectedness of the various people and their values, the technical systems and services, and the objects which fill our world. None of these things operate in isolation. Understanding the multitude of relationships between social and technical systems is critical to good design. This encourages us to think in a non-linear way. It requires designers to generate lots of ideas, to develop methods to create those ideas in a form in which they can be tested, and to see how well these ideas and concepts fit, and then we try again. In short, we generate, we test, and we iterate. In the mid-2000s, the UK's Design Council commissioned a study of the design processes used by a variety of international companies to better understand how designers design. That study ultimately defined the design process not as a linear methodology, but as a heuristic which can be described as the double diamond, consisting of four distinct phases. The discover phase, the define phase, the develop phase, and the deliver phase. Discover is the place that we start to open up our thinking about what the problem might be. We think about how we can understand the problem in a better way. We can start to think about different approaches to how the problem might be addressed. Are there solutions that already exist? And if so, are these not good enough? The discover phase really is a place where we start to open up our thinking about how things might be different. The second phase in the double diamond is the define phase. At this point, we start to clarify what we actually want to do. We consider all of the options that we've considered in our discover phase and we reduce them. We start to coalesce them towards a single identifiable project brief. A project brief might be something that frames your thinking in a particular way about how you might lead into the next two phases of the double diamond. With a design brief in hand, we enter the third phase. Development is where we start to work with various kinds of people, engineers, consultants, marketing agents, people who are co-designing with us. During develop, we start to work in multidisciplinary teams. We use visual management tools such as post-it notes, models, prototypes, drawings, illustrations, three-dimensional models to all illustrate what it is we're trying to control, to develop and build, to understand the best possible way that we can introduce change and better solutions to the problems. 
Ultimately, in this phase, we are also doing testing to make sure that we are on the right track. This is the fourth and final stage, deliver. This is perhaps where we're most familiar with what design does. Design is probably, in this phase, the best understood by the majority of people as being the outputs of the previous three phases. What we see in this image from Alessi is the result of very hard work of working with others, manufacturers, suppliers, material technologists, engineers, marketing consultants, all which result in the beautiful objects which fill our world. However, objects are not the only things that can be delivered. As we've discussed, it might be systems, it might be policies, it might be code, it might be infrastructure, it might be architecture. One of the key significant findings that are evident in the double diamond is the process of divergent and convergent thinking. Here in phase one and phase three, we can see that the diamond starts to pull away from a central node. We explore that divergent thinking in its widest capacity to see not only how we can do one or two things, but we can do a variety of things. Within this divergent phase, we start to think as widely as possible about the potentials of what might exist and the various solutions which we might start to implement. Once we've collected a variety of pieces of information, we start to coalesce this information and we need to converge. We need to reduce this thinking into a state where we can actually deliver it to an agreed destination. In the define phase and the deliver phase, we see examples of convergent thinking, where we start to reduce the variety of ideas that we've had to one consolidated direction. In the center of the double diamond, you see a relatively large node. At this point, we might suggest this is where our design brief, the formulations of our thinking about how we develop and deliver our final products, are coalesced. My name is Arno, and this has been my fun design on how to make things better.